is not a talk, but it's a workshop. And so you, if you are in this area that Chalice is going to be roping off, you are opting in to participating in a workshop. If you're like, I kind of wanted to listen to a talk and just check my phone and chill, uh, you can do that, but like not here. This is a workshop where you're going to be conversing with people and interacting. So there's absolutely no pressure for you to bounce out. We're DAO people. This is all opt-in uh, or opt-out. So you are more than welcome to opt-out if you are not into it. it that, that worked great. Wow. Nice. All right. So we have, yeah. And if you want to just come up here, because we're going to be a little tight and having a conversation. Wow. Nothing like a warning of participation to clear things out quickly. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. This is going to be good, nice and tight. We actually planned this whole workshop because when we originally signed up, we thought we had our own room to do a workshop in. But we're doing it in a crossroads, so that's fine. We're going we're gonna to figure it out. What's that? No, 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 no. It's very, actually, this is going to be very, uh, it's, it's not going to ask a lot of you. You're just going to have conversations and breathe a little bit. That's it. Uh, so while Chalice is cordoning us off, <laughs> um, I think I know almost everybody here. But for those that don't know me, my name is Zach. Uh, I am one of the co-founders of Coordinate. And Coordinate is a, did this just get way louder? No? OK just the feedback. Uh, Coordinate's a platform for people to incentivize and reward each other. Um, and as soon as Chalice is on her way over here, she will introduce herself from Cabin. And uh, so our talk today is really about, I think the title was like from the neck down, but it's really focusing on how in this industry that we're in, that is all online and all virtual and all happening with 2D letters on a screen, we can be extremely cognitively focused. And we actually have a tremendous amount of intelligence that lives in our bodies that we can bring online. And so how do we sort of not just take advantage of our prefrontal cortex, but actually all the different kinds of intelligence we have to collaborate more effectively, make better decisions, and feel better? OK. That's really loud. OK. I'm Chalice, a retired doula, part-time grad student studying the Masters of Divinity, full-time people person at Cabin. And so what I'm bringing to this conversation is how we embody our bodies on the internet and bridge that between the two virtual realities. Great. So the first thing we're going to ask you to do is to stand up and find a partner, just someone next to you. Stand up and find a partner. If, we're, if we aren't even numbers, we can have one group of three. There you go, just grab someone. Everyone have a partner? Okay, so you're each gonna have a couple minutes to answer the question, why do you care about crypto or Web3 or this space? Why do you care about this space? Why'd you make the effort to come here? Yeah, if, if you haven't switched partners yet, you can switch. You have about two minutes left.
All right. So y'all can wrap up those conversations and then uh, have a seat. Okay, so now we're gonna have you take a breath because this is a lot, there's a lot going on and it's like, let's create the space for us to take a breath together. And so, take a breath. Exhale. Take another breath. And I'm gonna walk you through just a, what? I'm gonna do brain framing. Okay, just kidding. Yeah. So she's gonna walk you through a, a a breathing exercise in a minute, but just to share like a little bit of context on, on why we're doing this is like I said to open, right? If our, our prefrontal cortex is actually a, a very new innovation in our brain, uh, historically speaking. And there's a lot of intelligence that comes from our body. Like in, in this space, we talk a lot about vibes, right? But you don't think about vibes. You don't know about them, you feel them. And there's, there's these, lines of intelligence, there's the old parts of your brain that have a lot to inform us on. But when we're just using our very language-oriented thinking logic, and this especially happens when we're online and communicating completely through written language, even though we know that body language is far more than 50% of communication, right? The intonation, the eye contact, the way that I'm holding myself, all these things are communicating so much. And when, when there's a flat screen, none of that's coming through. And so if we can take a moment to step back from being in this purely cognitive world, even when you're behind your keyboard for a few seconds, and just take a breath and try and bring some of your awareness back into your body, that can open up new potential ways of thinking, considering things, working on a problem, right, that just isn't pure sort of brute force intellect. And so this exercise is sort of a way to think about how can I just do this? You know, you can meditate for 10 seconds. A lot of people think you have to meditate for a long period of time, but a meditation can just be a few breaths. So Chalice is gonna take you through an exercise so that you can practice this behind your keyboard. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes. You don't have to, there's a lot going on, so do whatever feels safe. And then tap into the breath. We're gonna start far away. So think about the universe. Think about the United States. Bringing yourself to here, Denver. Coming in closer to this conference center. With each breath, you're noticing how it lands in your body, what parts of your body need nourishment, maybe grounding your feet to the earth beneath you. If it feels OK, you can put a hand on your heart and a hand on your stomach. Maybe you feel your heartbeat in your chest. Noticing the cadence, if it feels buzzy, if it feels mellow. Notice the chatter around you and how that impacts your being. The people walking about in your body sitting still. Take one more breath here. Noticing the connection between your hands and your heart, the feet and the ground. And then slowly come back, open your eyes. Notice the buzziness still going on around you and the difference between when you first sat down and to maybe now how it feels connecting to your breath. So. Now, keeping that, that awareness of, of your body and your feet on the floor, I'm going to ask you to stand up and find a different partner than you had last time.
So when you have a, a new partner, and we're going to have a new prompt. OK, so you meet your partner. And, and as you're having this conversation, remember to keep a little bit of your awareness in your feet, as well as in the conversation that you're having. And the prompt is, what is something that is important to you? What is something that is important to you? You have about two minutes each. If you haven't switched, it's time to switch partners. So we are going to wrap up this conversation. And as you wrap it back up, you can go back to your seat. All right. So uh, I'm curious, just show of hands, did people notice a difference in the quality of the conversation between the first and the second time? Raise your hand if you noticed a difference in the conversation. Half, sort of. Um, so the idea is just, again, like I've said, you know, where, where can we have opportunities to just take a breath and slow down in this industry that's like, I mean, I'm not saying anyone else does this, but I might have multiple tabs open I might have multiple apps open, and I might be done with a call, and then check Twitter, and then go on Discord, and then go back to Twitter, and then go back to the thing I'm actually working on, and then have another monitor, and at some point, just stopping and taking a breath, right? So a lot of you people use the Pomodoro method of like work sprints, and I have a clock that just says like, it dings, and I'm like, okay, 15 seconds, right? I try to meditate like in really short bursts. But it's a way just this industry, even the way we like hunch into our screen, you know, is like so this way, like taking a breath, stepping back and relaxing gives you access to different kinds of intelligence. And, you know, my feeling is like if we're trying to build new systems and do something different than, than Web 2 and default, we need to do it from a different sort of place. And so if we're racing and running and, and building things this way, we're kind of laying the foundations of this whole new infrastructure and technology. Like, let's do it from a place of like a little more groundedness. Mm -hmm. Add to that, 
we're only able to meet people with how we've met ourselves. And so when you come to your breath and you ground yourself and you find yourself in an actual physical location, you can then meet the other person where they're at. But without having that like, connection or that self-awareness, we often just zoom through or zoom past these connections. And the conversation that you guys had at the beginning was probably pretty surface level. And then maybe in that second prompt, you were able to go a little bit deeper, not in an exaggerative amount. It was a 10 minutes time difference, but still like working towards the depth versus the surface level. So that's it. That's what we wanted to share. The big takeaway is remember that your body is not a carrier for your head, but actually also a huge source of intelligence. Um, and thank you all for coming and participating. Appreciate it.